Democrat visits Chicago neighborhood to promote gun control, gets brutal wake-up call. While on his campaign tour, anti-Second Amendment Democrat Aaron Goldstein stopped for a photo op in a Chicago neighborhood. However, as soon as the smug liberal smiled for the camera, he received a perfectly brutal dose of his own leftist policy. The go-to argument liberals use against pro-life opponents is if you don't like abortions, don't get one. However, don't expect hypocritical leftists to apply this same logic to their campaign against legally owned firearms. With their ultimate goal of stripping law-abiding U.S. citizens of their Second Amendment rights, the left has launched a nationwide attack on both the firearm industry and its innocent customers. Leading this campaign in his state, Democratic candidate for Illinois Attorney General Aaron Goldstein has relentlessly smeared gun owners and the National Rifle Association NRA, hoping to deliver even more rigorous gun control to his crime-ridden blue state. Although most anti-gun politicians often hide behind heavily armed security guards, Goldstein is one of the few leftists who actually lives by his strict gun control policy. Unfortunately, he got to see his inane policy in action firsthand. Illinois Attorney General hopeful and staunch gun control advocate Aaron Goldstein was posing for a photo op in gun-controlled Chicago's Albany Park on Thursday afternoon when he was suddenly robbed at gunpoint by three armed criminals who refused to follow the city's strict gun laws, the Daily Caller reports. Since he was unarmed in accordance with his own gun control policy, all the emasculated liberal could do was stand there humiliated by his own principles as the armed thugs effortlessly stripped him and his camera crew of their possessions. The irony couldn't be thicker as Goldstein and his constituents embarrassingly lamented the fact that because they were unarmed while the offenders were still illegally equipped, they lost their belongings and pride. Of course, they are some of the incredibly fortunate residents who encounter daily gun violence in one of America's cities with the strictest gun control laws. In a seemingly brutal dose of karma, Goldstein explained that he and his crew were posing on a street in the park to give the photos an in-the-neighborhood kind of feel when he came face-to-face -face with the consequences of gun control. According to the Chicago Tribune, Goldstein and his crew were luckily unharmed but refused to give detailed descriptions of their attackers who they merely described as suspects between 20 and 24 years of age. Robert Murphy, Goldstein's campaign manager, attempted to do some damage control, downplaying the terrifying ordeal and urging the media to move on to his candidate's campaign instead. So, as far as the campaign, we are moving forward, Murphy said. Basically, this was a totally a random act of violence in the community. But when it happens to you, of course. You're shooken, sick, up. He continued, he says he's fine, and he was concerned about everyone else instead of how he is, but that's just how he is. Unfortunately, no one has been arrested and the police have little evidence to even pursue suspects, suggesting that Goldstein and his crew likely won't see justice. Then again, the Democratic hopeful is probably more concerned with saving face than actually cracking down on illegally armed criminal offenders on whom gun control has little to no effect. Of course, readers immediately spotted the irony. How's that gun control working for you, Democrats? One reader commented, while another added, a real taste of how effective Democratic policies have made life so much better for the people Chicago and all of Illinois. Crime-ridden streets, impoverished people, and a government that is flat broke. Yet another said, I think a picture of the Dems being robbed in Chicago during the day makes a perfect campaign poster dot for the Republicans. It's refreshing to see a pro-gun control Democrat actually practicing what he preaches instead of trying to take away Americans' right to self-defense while enjoying the safety of armed guards. Of course, once they're required to taste their own medicine, they certainly sing a different tune. Hopefully. Aaron Goldstein will reconsider his anti-gun position and encourage his supporters to arm themselves against dangerous thugs like the ones he encountered who refused to obey gun control laws, but we suspect that the Democrat candidate for Illinois Attorney General will probably twist the incident to support his backward war on the Second Amendment. Amendment.